Today, I'll be giving you guys a closer look at how I color correct and color grade my footage. I have a pretty simple process that I go through and I wanna share with you guys so that you can take whatever you learn in this video and maybe apply it to your own workflow. I'll also be giving away one of Loop Deck's editing panels, so make sure that you tune in till the end of the video to find out how you can win one. And make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button so every time I post a new video, you guys will be notified. In today's color grading video, I'll be using this editing panel that Loop Deck sent me last month. I feel like it's a great tool to have, which makes the grading process easier and quicker for me. More on that later in the video. First let me go over how I shoot my clips. I use the Sony a7 III and a6500. For Sony users, this is how I shoot 90% of my videos. It doesn't turn out too flat and it still gives you good dynamic range. If you're shooting on a different camera, I've listed a few videos that I like below that might give you a better idea on what settings to shoot at. In this tutorial, I'll be using these three clips from my Hawaii trip as our sample clips. Now, once you have the footage you want to edit loaded onto Final Cut Pro 10, the first thing I would do is correct the colors. Color correction is the process of getting your footage to look as how the human eye would see it. Other editors like using different scopes to help with this process. I usually just use the Luma waveform to get the exposure levels right. Everything else, I would just eye it and see if it looks right. You can turn the Luma waveform on by clicking on view, scope settings, and choosing waveform and Luma. This is a great way to have a visual look of how exposed your clips are. If you're using the Loop Deck keyboard, I highly suggest customizing the keys to better fit your workflow. I've added shortcuts to toggle video scopes on and off, as well as the effects browser, and I also customized one of the dials to zoom in and out of my timeline. Most of the buttons and dials are customizable, so definitely play around with different combinations just to suit your style of editing. So now let's work on exposure. In the inspector tab, add the color wheel. I usually adjust the shadows and the highlights first. The highlights will change the whites in the video. Keep adjusting it until you're happy with how the whites look, but try to have it around the upper 100 level so that the white exposure levels are just right. Going over this will mean that your clip is overexposed. Do the same thing for shadows, which controls the blacks in your clips, but turn it down to around the zero level. Try not to go past the line, as it will eventually start to look too dark, which your clip will then be underexposed. Again, play around with these until it looks right. Then finish it off with the midtones. This will adjust everything in between the whites and the blacks in your footage. Adjust it so that your footage doesn't look too harsh and that the contrast is just right. Next, adjust the saturation level until you're happy with the outcome. Now change the temperature of your clip. You don't want it to be too blue or too orange, so adjust the bar until you're happy with it. Adjust the tint as well if you need to. Copy this correction over with Command plus C or by clicking on Copy on your Loop Deck keyboard. And then paste the attributes to your other clips with Command plus Shift and V or you can create a custom button on your panel, which I did. I have C1 as a designated paste attributes button. Now that I'm done correcting the clips, it's time to color grade it. This step is optional, but it is good to grade your footage to set the mood in your videos or give it a certain feel. There's different ways to grade your footage, so it looks a certain way. My preferred way, and I feel the easier way to grade my footage is by using LUTs. Now what is a LUT? To simplify it, a LUT is a pre-made color grade, which you just slap onto your clip to give it a certain look. To apply a LUT, look for Custom LUT in the Effects tab, then drag it onto your clip. Click on the LUT drop down and look for Choose Custom LUT. Now look for the specific one that you want to use. I'll be using the one that I created specifically for my Hawaii trip, which will have the famous orange and teal look. Then all you need to do is adjust how much you want to add in by scrolling the mix bar left and right. Now check each of your clips to make sure that they are all similar in grading. View it in full screen mode to see your final edited product. Make sure to adjust any levels if needed when in this mode, as you're able to see more of your work. And if you're using the Loop Deck keyboard, you can use the dials and buttons to adjust your work in this mode as well. 
I know there are a ton of different ways to grade your footage and I'd love to hear how you guys do it. So make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. And a special thanks again to Loop Deck for sponsoring this tutorial. I just started using this editing panel by Loop Deck about a month ago. It's made the editing process a lot easier. I tried other panels before, but I feel like this one by Loop Deck works really great with Final Cut Pro 10, which is the program that I use most of the time. You can configure the buttons so that it fits your workflow. And it also works with programs such as Premiere Pro, After Effects, Adobe Lightroom, and a bunch of other ones as well. And one other thing that I really like about it is how you can customize your settings for each of the different programs. Not all workflows are the same, so this is a huge feature to be able to switch from different profiles. It just makes editing more fun and enjoyable too. And the team over at Loop Deck is going to give you guys one of these as well. All you need to do is leave me a comment in the comment section down below and let me know why you deserve to win one. And if you want an extra ballot, add me on Instagram at Brian Primetime and also let me know on there why you deserve to win one.